Hello everyone, welcome to my channel, General Hospital. I hope everyone is having a wonderful day. Before starting the video, General Hospital Anniversary, Relive Maxi slash Benelli's non-wedding. Oh, the irony. On the 15th anniversary of their non-wedding, General Hospital's Spixi are closer than ever to tying the knot. When you think of the all-time top soap opera nuptials, the wedding of General Hospital odd couple Maxi and Spinelli on September 25, 2009, has got to be, well, not anywhere on the list. But when it comes to daytime's top non-weddings, no other duo comes close. In fact, as we look back on their near miss that was so moving and full of love, it seems worth asking, are Maxi and Spinelli endgame? Because once upon a time, she loved him so deeply, she was willing to go through with a wedding she didn't want just to make him happy. We could tell when we were shooting those episodes all together that we were doing something really special, said the would-be bride's portrayer, Kirsten Storms, on the Daily Dish podcast, hosted by her would-be groom's portrayer, Bradford Anderson, and Steve Burton Jason. I look back at it as my favorite storyline. Added Burton, they really caught lightning in a bottle with you guys. It was one of my favorite couples to watch, because you guys were so in tune with each other. The non-wedding day began with Maxie waking from a hilariously horrifying nightmare about her future. It involved a babbling Mac, he'd lost his mind at the ceremony, an action hero Spinelli, a jet-setter Lulu and Maxie as a stay-at-home mom with three kids, and a fourth on the way. Needless to say, it wasn't the future Maxie wanted. And as Spinelli ran off with his new muse, Lulu, the bestie turned home wrecker echoed the beleaguered mom's own sentiment. I'm sorry, Maxie. Maybe you shouldn't have married Spinelli after all. What if I see a truth in her eyes that I'd rather not know? Spinelli asked in desperation. Jason didn't have an answer to that one, but it turned out the groom did. When the time came in front of all their loved ones, he looked into Maxie's eyes and knew exactly what he had to do. He gave a lovely speech about how much she meant to him, and then ended it with a twist. You loved me, Spinelli said in awe. And that is the most precious gift, and I will never, ever betray it. And that is why I cannot marry you. It was time he realized to trust Maxie and set her free to love him on her own terms, in her own time. He couldn't and wouldn't force her to love him on his. It was selfless, it was beautiful, and after Maxie got over the initial surprise, she loved Spinelli all the more. Mac promptly passed out from relief. When he came to, he just barely reined in his disdain of Spinelli to ask, I'm not dreaming. She's not marrying that. They're not getting married. She then gave her own touching speech about how Spinelli changed her life, and they finished their non-wedding with a kiss. It was pretty much perfect. Except that it turned out that giving Maxie the space to love on her own terms was, sigh, not a mistake, but certainly more complicated than Spinelli had thought. It didn't take long for them to break up, especially once Maxie slept with a sociopathic Franco. Spinelli eventually moved on with Ellie, while Maxie moved on with Matt, and Levi, and Nathan, Oh, and Peter. Maybe Spinelli didn't change her as much as she thought. Still, years have passed, and everything old is feeling new again. I'm excited to see what they're going to have us do next, Storms admitted during the podcast. I'm ready for that dynamic to be back in play. Only time will tell what the future holds, but as Maxie said when she and her ex didn't get married, Damien Spinelli, you are, and always will be, my essential person. Now that they are dating and living together, he may even wind up being her better half after all. General Hospital teases that Molly sleeps with Dex. Chaos ensues. General Hospital teases the birth of a new couple, and the end of two others. One thing you've got to say for General Hospital, 
the show is not afraid to take big swings. And we may have gotten a major hint about what its next one will be in the September 23 episode. Fancy meeting you here. Since there are no coincidences in a daytime drama, we took notice when Dex made himself Molly's drinking buddy and listened to her unload about all of the things that she wouldn't get to do with ill-fated iron. A flirtatious scene it wasn't. But, yes, there is a but. Every time rock there bottom, is a but. Molly could one of these nights be moved to act on impulse and attempt to use Dex as a kind of pain reliever. Consider it sexual healing, if you will. It wouldn't be the first time that she'd strayed from TJ, either. Remember her hookup with Brando. What was he asterisk thinking asterisk? Why would Dex sleep with Molly, though, when he's so happily joined at the hip with Jocelyn? He could get caught up in the moment. There could be drinks involved. He could be so eager to make Molly stop hurting that he opens himself up to a world of hurt. As it is, things are pretty stable for Dex and Joss. Perhaps too stable. Remember when she cheated on Cameron with Dex. At that point, Eden McCoy and then-leading man William Lipton found their on-screen relationship a little boring. She said at the time, we were together for a million years in soap opera terms, as I call it. Nothing was really happening in our storyline. The upside of a downfall. Once Joss slept with Dex, McCoy and Lipton got some seriously meaty material into which they could sink their teeth. The same would be sure to happen for her and Evan Hofer, as well as Kristen Vaginos and Taj Bello. In the aftermath, we could be left with a bunch of anything-goes couplings. Dex and Molly, TJ, and perhaps Willow, with whom Nina already thought her daughter was having an affair and Joss. And, when will General Hospital's Kelly Monaco, Sam, be back? Finally, General Hospital's Kelly Monaco fans get some good news. For weeks now, Kelly Monaco fans have been riding an emotional roller coaster. Following news that the General Hospital mainstay's alter ego, Sam, was slated to meet her maker, her supporters began to rally the troops, quite literally, as thousands rushed to sign a petition which they hoped would not only show their support, but convince ABC to change its mind before things went too far. General Hospital's Kelly Monaco cheered on by her castmates. She will succeed. Then last week, viewers tuned in to find that Monaco had been replaced with Lindsay Hartley, the erstwhile passion star who has, from time to time over the past few years, stepped into Sam's shoes when a temporary recast was needed. Given that Monaco would soon reportedly exit, fans obviously didn't love having someone else step in no matter how briefly. Well, at long last, a bit of good news is coming, courtesy of Soap Opera Digest, which reports that Monaco has reclaimed her role from Hartley. This is not necessarily the miracle which viewers have been hoping for, as there has been no indication that the folks at ABC have blinked, as it were, and changed their minds where the actress or her character are concerned. It does, however, mean that the metaphorical sword hanging over Sam's head is still being suspended by at least a slim thread. As eternal optimists, we fully believe that there will be life for Monaco after General Hospital. Heck, we suspect she might well land in the very nice position of having several roles to choose from. We're kinda hoping that the fates decide to repair her with Greg Vaughn. You might recall that during his stint as General Hospital's Lucky, Sam shared some majorly sexy scenes with Elizabeth's hubby. Although Vaughn's Days of Our Lives character, Eric, recently was reunited with true love Nicole, her portrayer isn't likely to be setting foot on that soundstage anytime soon thanks to the lawsuit she recently filed against the show. For now, we're planning to enjoy Monaco's Port Charles run for as long as it lasts. Although truth be told, we're not entirely. Opposed to the soap-killing Sam, and making sure hers is a death from which there is not a return. 
It's not a popular opinion, but we've thought it through and believe it's a valid option, as explained here. Please subscribe and keep watching for more details videos. Come back to our channel for all your updates. Thank you for watching.